Alright. of Radioactivity Man <laughs> and One-Eyed Electrical Socket. <laughs> Iris in Productions. Is anyone from Iris in Productions in our audience tonight? I see no hands raised. Has anyone seen this show yet? <laughs> huh? oh, <laughs> the critic has seen the show. That's not the critic. <laughs> oh. Tara it's just me, Tara. Just Tara saw it. Oh, good. Well, then we'll let you be the critic. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. All right. Let's see what this show is all about. Good luck, Red. From the insanely creative mind of a seventh grader comes a superhero tale so spectacular, so incredible. So superhero adjectively silly, you'll never be able to laugh the same way again. Come see the adventure story that some people are calling a one-act comedic adventure uh, superhero play written by Joshua Gleason. <laughs> Heroes and friendships will be tested. Ceilings and minds will be shattered. It's escapism fun for the whole family. Adventures of Radioactivity Man. And one eye electrical socket. Right to you. Yeah. Well, one eye electrical eye socket, looks like the wind turbines are back at it again. Oh no! <laughs> Did you sleep all right last night? Your eyes look a bit fucky. <laughs> No, I only have one. Oh, That's not very nice. My bad. Didn't mean to call that out. Well, I didn't sleep well either, so I'm glowing a little bit extra today. Pow! Bam! Ah! You got my other arm! Oh, sorry. No, I only Roger. have your socket. Hold on, I'm getting a call from the chief. Roger? Yep. Um, uh, I got the seat. Okay. <laughs> I don't see any cleaves, though. Seen for what? Off the crown. Oh. I saw it, man. There's been a crime. You didn't see it, and I definitely know you didn't. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we gotta get there really quick. Now, get what, the space. What part of town is it in, Chief? Um, it's in um Town Square. Oh, well, that's easy enough to find. Oh, let me look out my window right now. We're on the 34th floor of my high rise. Well, that's a lot of bodies. <laughs> and me, the police chief, is asking you, seventh grader, to come in and save the day. We'll be there right away. Can I come too? Absolutely, I suck it, man. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! Radioactive! Radio. Uh, hey, Chief, uh, I know you're not wearing your protective gear. You might want to put that on. I will give you uh, some horrible, horrible sickness if you're out here for too long. Okay. Do you have extra gear? Oh, no, I don't know. No, we don't carry gear. Yeah, it all melts off my skin. Okay, that's why we need you. All right. We've got a lot of bodies here. I can smell them. <laughs> <laughs> well, my Geiger count is going off. Oh, Looks like a classic case of radioactivity poisoning. Oh <laughs> my gosh. That's just what got you. Absolutely. Do you think all these dead people are going to turn into superheroes like you? No, they look pretty dead to me. <laughs> <laughs> who, but who could have done this? Well, who turned you into you? Well, that would be the giant vat of <laughs> radioactive waste that I fell into. <laughs> but because I had a kind heart, I became a hero and not a villain. <laughs> well, I think it was Mastermind's waste. Wasn't it? Mastermind? Mastermind. I hope he's not near. Oh, he's dead. <laughs> Mastermind is dead. That is unfortunate. Mastermind's dead. Oh, 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 he's getting up. He's getting up. He's getting up. Mastermind, you set up again. 
Hey, Tim! Don't I make guess. me shoot sludge at you! I guess now it's time to figure out if I'm good enough, have a good enough heart to be a hero or a villain. Now that the radioactivity has touched me. Well, quick! Plug your sludge gun into my socket! <laughs> 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 we got him! <laughs> oh no! My mainder says his heart was the purest of all. <laughs> seen the show. Oh, it's just me. Yeah. 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 Okay, um, that was a lot of fun. Um, I don't like radiation, but uh, it's okay if it was a superhero. And so I give you an evil lair for all of you. An evil lair. Okay, well, it's a little bit. Okay. Oh, can't have a play with that one. Okay, <laughs> let's take a look at what our two teams are doing. Our <laughs> uh, blue team has uh, 30 and a half points, but they also have the moon over Alabama, which I do not know how to value. Um, <laughs> how would you put a price on this? One? I, I, it, it probably went double platinum, right? So it's worth it's worth millions, I'm sure. Uh, Red team here is sitting at 26, uh, and they've got an evil lair, so who knows what they'll do with that. Um, also worth millions, if you're uh, Batman. Could be. It depends on the lair. I've seen some lairs in my time that were not worth millions. <laughs> <laughs> we won't get into that tonight. Um, but, uh, I don't know how to declare a winner, so let's let the audience do it. Let's do... Uh, uh, applause for the blue team! Yeah. Applause for the red team! Yeah. Looks like the red team has it, though. It's all politics. It's all politics. One more show. Uh, so we'll get through seven shows tonight. Come back to see all the French problems, and you will see all the French right here at French problems. And that will save you a lot of time. <laughs>